Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to study about decimal adder, which is also called as BCD adder. Okay. So, in order to understand the concept of BCD adder, I have given certain points over here. So, let's see the points first. The first point says that if some result is less than equals to nine, no correction is required. Okay. And if the sum result is greater than nine, six need to be added. Now, what is the sum result? The sum result means I have to add certain bits to get the result. Okay. Since this is a BCD adder, we are having four bits for each BCD number, right? So uh, when we add two numbers, that means eight bits we are adding basically, right? So these are giving me uh, result of this sum. So to add, we need a binary adder circuit, right? So third point says that need four bit binary adder for addition, four bit because BCD is four bit number, right? Then again, this thing, the first two uh, points it said that it, it may be less than equals to nine or greater than nine. So I need a logic circuit to decide the sum which is coming out after addition is greater than nine or less than equals to nine. For that, I need a logic circuit. So the fourth point says that logic circuit is needed to detect sum is greater than nine or not. Okay, and if sum is greater than nine or there is a carry, okay, carry means one. There is a carry. Adder need to add this adder, okay, which I'm taking. Okay, this will give me some result. And if the sum is greater than nine, I need one more adder. Okay, so adder needed to add six in which format in binary format it's zero one one zero okay i hope you are clear now from this points i need two binary adder okay one for getting the sum result and if at all correction is required as per the logic circuit i need one more adder okay that means two adder is required over here okay and a logic circuit fine now let us see the two table of bcd adder so here i've designed that i have one side i have binary sum one side of bcd sum so the k stands for the carry bit I have represented my binary sum as Z, Z8, Z4, Z2, and Z1, and BCD sum I represented as C, S8, S4, S2, S1. Okay, and you can see I have given the decimal range that is from 0 to 19. Now the question arises why I have taken from 0 to 19. Okay, see as I told you that BCD is having four bit. Okay, and I'm I'm adding two BCD number, right? So that means one BCD number can represent from 0 to 15, right? Because it's four bit number, right? But uh, the valid uh, numbers are from 0 to 9, not up to 15. So first BCD number can uh, go to a range from 0 to 9. Similarly, the second one can also go from a range from 0 to 9. Okay. So let me pick out the highest value from the sequence that is 9 and 9 from two BCD numbers. Now when I add these two numbers, okay, when I'm adding these two numbers, obviously I will get a carry. Okay. So the carry I'm getting. I'm assuming that carry is also there. So altogether, what will be the result? It is 9 plus 9, 18 plus 1, 19. So the range will be up to 19 including 2 BCD number and uh, if at all the carry generate okay so I have taken a sequence from 0 to 19 I hope I'm clear to everybody why I have taken 19 sequence right now when you observe this binary sum and BCD sum because this I'm expecting from this my circuit BCD adder is this so I want the output in BCD form but I'm giving the data in binary form okay so I want the output in this format okay as per the second column so I'm finding till 9 you can see till 9 that is 0 1 0 0 1 and over here also binary sum 0 1 0 0 1 both side binary and BCD sum everything is same but as soon as I cross 9 I'm finding uh, the representation of uh, bits are different here for 10 it is 1 0 1 0 here for 10 is 1 0 0 0 0 okay so I'm finding there is a difference between both the side so I want that uh, if at all uh, I uh, there is a change okay I need to correct that and get the things in BCD format okay and I have uh, already mentioned in the points above that when the sum is greater than 9 Okay, I need to add six, or if the carry is in it, I need to add six. So uh, here I'm finding that uh, from ten onwards, okay, uh, the sum is greater than nine. I mean to say that ten means uh, suppose I, I add two numbers, okay, and the sum is coming ten. If it is coming nine, it's fine, okay. But uh, if it is coming ten, uh, then it will come as one zero one zero. But I want that in what form? In basic form, there is one zero 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 zero. Okay, I want that format. Suppose I add two two number, let's say uh, five and three. If it is eight, five plus three is eight. So okay, fine. Because I'll be getting either side. I'll be getting one triple zero. But if it is, if I'm adding six plus seven, okay, then it's thirteen. So the sum will I want the sum in what way? One, okay, zero zero one one. But it will come in what way? Zero one one zero one. So that will create a problem. So I want the things to be done in this this way. Okay. For that, I want to design a logic circuit to solve the issue from 10 to 19. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that uh, to design the circuit, I need to design a K map. And from whom I'm going to design the K map? For this C, I'm going to design the K map because you can see uh, in BCD format, I'm getting what this is zero, this is one, two, three, four, and this one is coming. So if I can design for C, 
this bit okay because this bit you can see uh, it's it is 0 from 0 till 9 okay from 10 onwards it is 1 so I'm targeting this C bit and according to this C bit I'm going to design the uh, KMF so that will get the equation from the equation I can design the circuit okay and to design the KMF for this C bit I'm taking consideration this complete 5 bit there is K, Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1 okay so you can see over here uh, I have taken the KMF which is a 5 variable KMF so for this map I have taken Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1 and K equal to 0 for this side I have taken Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1 K equals to 1 right now how I plotted this K map uh, the value into this map okay if you know is very well if you don't know you can see my earlier videos on K map right now what I have done is that I have seen the values from this set just like uh, 0 1 uh, 0 1 0 okay from here uh, I have taken uh, the uh, values of uh, K Z Z4 Z2 Z1 and here C value is 1 so I implemented the one over here see 0 K is 0 over here 1 0 1 0 so I put the 1 over here similarly I put all the ones okay this map is representing from 0 till 15 and from 16 onwards this map is representing right these empty boxes are filled with zeros I have not mentioned over here because it look miss so I have left it blank so in examination you can put zeros over here right and 16 onwards I am getting 16 17 18 19 as 1 the rest is don't care why it is don't care because you know because 5 very well I have considered so the range is from 0 to 31 okay so after 19 I'm not considering anything so after 19 till 31 everything will be don't care so I marked don't care over here right now what I've done is that I have to see uh, and get the equation for C so if I see both the map okay I'm finding the first bit over here in K this is completely zero these are zero okay and this four ones I'm getting so this four one all the don't care in the second map you can observe is forming an K that is one okay so I have taken C equals to K plus this 4 and this 4 don't care okay is forming a group okay this I have not again circled because it will look miss so you can understand by this time how I have taken the K map so 1 2 3 4 originally and this 4 don't care 1 2 3 4 if I am taking I am getting the equation Z8 Z4 okay now if I take this 1 2 3 4 this square and this don't care 1 2 3 4 I am getting the equation Z8 Z2 okay so this is the equation which I am obtaining for C bit that is C equals to K plus Z Z4 plus Z Z2 so now I am going to design my circuit so as in the points already I have mentioned I need one 4 bit uh, binary adder for addition so I have taken 4 bit binary adder for addition ok and uh, what is the binary adder what is inside this you know from the uh, my earlier videos ok in full letter I have explained this one so I am giving 4 bit A 4 bit B when this is adding it is giving me result Z Z4 Z2 Z1 ok now this result if it is less than 9 uh, everything is fine but uh, if it is more than 9 if the sum result is more than 9 then it is creating an issue and if it is more than 9 I need to add 6 ok so what will happen uh, this two and get ok will work for Z Z4 and Z Z2 and will give the result ok over here to the OR gate and we also know if carry is generated then also we need to add 6 so if K bit is generating then also we need to add 6 so this is the OR gate ok either this or this if anything is 1 I will get a result 1 ok this one will be coming to the lower adder because I mentioned you can see in the point if sum is greater than 9 or carry is 1 ok adder need to add 6 so which adder will add because this adder is giving me the result so I, and again I need a one more adder that I have taken the lower part so this Z, Z4, Z2, Z1 data will come down over here this one will come in this line and will split over here to give me two different ones and 6 means what 0, 1, 1, 0 so I have sorted logic 0 to the last uh, and the first uh, if you take this side, so the first and the last, uh, both either side are given 0 and the middle one I have split and sorted, so I will get 1. So I will get the sequence what over here, that is 0, 1, 1, 0. 1 will be split into 2 parts, okay. So this will continue giving 6 if 1 is coming over here and the result will come from this side, add together, it will give me final result, the S3, S2, S1, S0, with the final result along with the output carry. So this S3, S2, S1, S0 is nothing but the table I mentioned over here into table S8, S4, S2, S1. So this is nothing but S8, S4, S2 and S1. Okay. So this is how we are designing the circuit. So let's test, an, uh, test out one uh, value and check whether my circuit is working properly or not. So let me give some value. So A I am taking as 7. So it's, it's a 0, 1, 1, 1 I am giving. And B I am taking 8, 1, 0, 0, 0. So if I add this to you can see over here 8 is 1000 and uh, 7 is uh, 0 1 1 1 if I add this I'm getting 1 1 1 1 so obviously this is more than 9 okay so I need to get and carry so see 
here carry is not generating but i will get one over here one over because z is z4 z2 z1 is one 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 so obviously from this two i'll be getting one over here for this two i'll be getting one over here this two one will merge and i'll get one over here so this one will come out as in carry over here again this one will come as in six and come to this point from this side i'll be getting all the four ones so this four ones along with six will add together so it will something like this okay which will give me the final result as one 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 ten zero carry one this eleven carry one is 10 and this, this is the final result so you can see i'll be getting over here 0 1 0 1 this one will come to this carry out and will be ignored over here and this will be considered which is output carry okay so i'm getting 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 so this is how okay my bcd adder is working okay i hope uh, the concept is clear to everybody regarding bcd adder thank you for watching my video